Before I jump right into June favorites, I first wanted to answer a question that I got asked a lot in my last video, and that was what I was wearing on my lips. And so many people asked, and I wanted to go back and answer everybody individually, but there were also a lot of giveaway entries. So I thought it would just be easier to show you. And this is a combination that I heard about from TT Sandra. And Sandra has a video called My Favorite Peachy Lips, which I will link down below. And in it, she talked about one of my favorite lip liners. This is from Marc Jacobs and it's in the shade Honey Bun, which is the actual cutest name of any lip liner ever. And in the video, she's wearing this lip liner and on top, she has the YSL Glossy Stain in number 27. So I already own the lip liner and I went out and bought the Glossy Stain on Sandra's recommendation. And I love these two together so pretty i've been wearing it a ton and the best thing is that last video that was a longer video for video for me it was almost 16 minutes and i had almost an hour worth of footage of just me talking and a lot of times when i'm filming these videos about halfway through i'll touch up my lip color but i never had to touch up the glossy stains they last forever and they just look beautiful throughout. So if you're one of the people that were curious, this is what I had on my lips. Recently, I bought two fairly hyped up natural body lotions and they're talked a lot about on green beauty blogs. And one I'm not sure about, the jury's still out, but the other one I fell in love with immediately. And I bought this at Faux Lane. It is the One Love Organics Coconut Plus Salt Mineral Body Lotion. So the coconut oil, of course, is for hydration. And then the sea salt is supposed to help attract and retain moisture from the air. And with a name like Coconut Plus Salt, I was expecting a very beachy, coconutty scent, but I don't smell much of anything. Maybe just a tiny bit of aloe right as it goes on. So if you're looking for a really good summer scent, I would have other products that I would recommend to you. But if you're someone who is sensitive to scent or doesn't like products with a lot of added fragrance, I think this is a great option. And this morning I used a brand new perfume that Karen picked up for me over the weekend and it's kind of a bolder scent. And I liked that I was able to use this lotion without worrying if the scents went together or if it was too overpowering. So if you're a person who likes to just get your fragrance from your perfume, this is another good option. But my main reason for recommending this other than the packaging, which is perfect. One Love Organics always just goes, just goes all in with the packaging. And it also, let me show you, has a really nice pump. So the packaging is adorable, but the texture is what makes this so nice. If you've been using a really heavy duty, thick body butter all through the winter and you're wanting to lighten up a little bit, this is so silky and it sinks in immediately. And days I use this, I just, you know, if I feel my arms throughout the day or something, I just notice my skin being really moisturized. So I think this is going to be a huge summer favorite. Next, I have the Zabana or Zabana Essentials Dry Glow Shampoo, and this is the shimmery one. This came in the May Pettivore box, and I love Pettivore. It's my favorite subscription service. And some months you get along with products better than others. In the May box, I think this is the only thing I really, really liked. It's just a nice overall dry shampoo. It's a powder one, so you just tap it right into your roots. It's not as heavy duty as the Clarin, but it does make my hairstyle last for a second day. And the main reason that this is in this favorites video is the scent. Now this product definitely has that coconutty beachy scent. And every time I use it, I'm immediately taken back to family vacations growing up. So it just puts me in a really good mood. So this is another happy find from a Pettivore box. June could also be called my Charlotte Tilbury month. I placed my first order and I loved it all. If I had to choose my favorites, I would say it's the Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Marie Antoinette. So this is their cream eyeshadow and this color is a bronzy antique gold that is perfect for putting all across the lid. I'm wearing it today. I was wearing it in my last video. I've been wearing it a lot. And when I use a primer underneath, it lasts fantastic. No fading, no creasing whatsoever. And then my number one favorite out of the entire month, which I'm so happy about because it's an expensive product and I thought about it for a long time. It's the Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is a face sculpting and highlighting powder and the highlight. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of times you'll get to the end of a tutorial and the girl will just be admiring her highlight. And I've never experienced that until I started using this powder. I have the Mary Luminizers, I have the Becca, but there's just something special about this one. And it's a little bit more golden than I thought I would like, but I think it is perfect for summer. And then the sculpting shade, I think this is good for people who like a little bit of definition, a little bit of warmth, but you don't like that huge carved out contour. This is a little bit more natural to me. So I'm just so happy with both of these. And I think I've used it every day that I've done makeup in the entire month of June. I think the video I spent the most time on last month was the Nucia review. And I won't repeat everything I said in that video, but if you're curious, by far my favorite were the Josh Rosebrook shampoo and conditioner. I loved those. 
but a big chunk of the month was spent testing out the Lily Lolo eyeshadows. And I mentioned that they were a little bit more sheer so you could see some of my skin through it. So I needed not only an eyeshadow primer, but one that had a little bit of coverage to help me create a blank canvas. So I heard about this next product from Gem or Jerica, and Jessica talked about the Anastasia Waterproof Creme Color in the shade Honey. And this worked great as a base, and you can see that it's just a little bit peachy, so it really helped to counteract some of the blue veins on my lid. So I love this underneath the Lily Lolo shadows, and I also like it just underneath anything. Today I'm wearing it underneath Marie Antoinette, and that works perfect. This next product came in a PR box at the perfect time because it worked amazingly with the Lily Lolo BB Cream, which I liked using. It just wasn't enough coverage for me, so I topped it off with the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in the shade Fair. And there's just something special about the finish of this foundation. I think on their website they say it's rose petal, but it does, it just, how it looks on your skin, it just makes your skin look like it would be very soft to the touch. And I used to use the Too Faced Powder Foundation before it was called this, and I used it all the time over top of BB cream, so I've just kind of re-fallen in love with this more updated version. I have another Too Faced product. This is their Melted Metal Liquefied Metallic Lipstick in the shade Melted Metallic Violet, and that is a lot of words. I do have one of the originals in the Melted Fig, which is a beautiful shade, and I showed that in my favorite fall lip colors for last year. And the biggest difference I've noticed between the original formula and these metals, other than, of course, the metallic and the shimmer, is that these ones are a lot thinner in consistency and a little bit more sheer. So for me, I love the look of purple lips on other people, but sometimes I feel like it's a little bit harder for me to pull off. Since this is more sheer, it lets some of my natural lip color come out. So it just makes it a little bit more wearable. I was wearing this in my Nucia reviews and a lot of you guys liked it. And then I wore it to work and just out and about. And my sister Summer liked it so much that she went out and bought it for herself and it looks beautiful on her too. My other most worn lipstick in June is what I have on right now. And it's from the brand called Nudist, which is out of Sydney, Australia. And it's a very high end natural lipstick line. And it is a luxury lipstick, it's $35. This shade is called Dirty Diana, which is described as a deep red Bordeaux. I love this shade. You can make it very vampy. I'm wearing it just a little bit lighter today so it looks like a touch more summery. But there's something about this red color and wearing gingham and that has been my little go-to combination. And there's something kind of Marianne from Gilligan's Island. I don't know why, but I really like it. This is a luxury lipstick. Is it worth $35? I'm not sure. There are other lipstick formulas I like as much. It does have some great ingredients, which I wrote a couple down for you. It has shea butter, avocado, coconut, argan oils, vitamins, and antioxidants. So you are getting some really nice ingredients, and I think the shade is beautiful. If you're in Australia, of course, it's readily available, and it's sold at a few shops here in the U.S. I ordered both of mine from Integrity Botanicals, which I've ordered from, I think, three, three or four times, and I've had good experiences so far, so I'll put their link down below. And last but not least, I have two nail polishes. The first is the Nails Ink Gel Effect in the shade Regent's Place. This just says fun and summery to me. It is a very bright cornflower blue. I did wear it on my nails this month, so I'll insert a picture, but my favorite is to use this for pedicures. I think it is just so cute poking out of sandals. And then I'm still so, so obsessed with this color from Smith & Cult. It's called Bitter Buddhist. It is a perfect formula, a unique shade, and beautiful packaging. I will be buying more Smith & Cult. I just have to decide which one I want next, but I think it's gonna be a purple. That is all for my June beauty favorites. I'm really excited to get started on my July videos. I have a planner video coming. Red Apple Lipstick is getting ready to release a beautiful new collection, which I will be showing you, and there will be a chance to win it, and then I will have my summer essentials. And if you're watching this video pretty soon after I uploaded it, there is still time to enter my giveaway, so I will have that linked at the end of this one. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you again real soon.